hello everyone welcome to my channel civil engineering x uh, in the previous video we have learned about how to do the full modeling and analysis of ETAPS and uh, I have also made one video regarding uh, and the municipal reports that you need to make before submitting to the municipality along with the drawings so today we are going to discuss about the manual way of designing a slab so at first I would like to say please like share and subscribe this channel and uh, share as much as possible if this okay now let us start I have done several excel sheet for slab calculation and I am going to show you so let's start without any further delay so as you all know this is a design of two way slab and uh, as you have generally studied in the engineering the FCK uh, the characteristic strength of slab is 20 Newton per mm square as we are doing for M20 so it's FCK characteristic strength is 20 Newton per mm square and FY is 500 Newton per mm square so the dimension of the slab as per our AutoCAD drawing we should take the center to center distance between the support so length of short span LX is 3.566 as I have uh, extracted this from the Excel you can you need to generally take uh, the short span between the two supports center to center as it is mentioned here. so let so length of short span LX is 3.566 and length of long span LY is 3.640 so after taking these two things from our drawing uh, width of the supporting beam is 230 mm uh, let us take the clear cover to the main reinforcement 15 mm and uh, let us assume the diameter of reinforcement steel is 8 mm so at first we need to calculate the thickness of slab or simply we can assume as uh, in general context we uh, take the thickness of slab as 125 mm or you can simply calculate it by using the formula L effective divided by alpha beta gamma delta and lambda which you can <coughs> see my previous video as I have discussed about it in the one way design of slab or you can simply check in the IS code IS 456 2000 or you can simply take the thickness of slab as 125 mm so the effective depth the effective is 106 mm so where does the 106 mm came from so let me show you for the effective depth this formula is assumed thickness of slab as we have assumed as 125 mm so assumed thickness of slab minus clear cover minus assumed the diameter of rebar by 2 so the effective depth formula is given by this you can put the value as we have as the value are given here thickness of slab minus clear cover we have given clear cover of 15 mm and then we can simply take 15 to 20 mm so and then assume diameter of rebar divided by 2 assume diameter of rebar is uh, 8 mm divided by 2 and then we get 106 mm therefore our effective span LX is 3.5657 and L is 3.64 meter and 3.5657 is the similar this we obtained from our AutoCAD drawing this or 3.442 whichever is less and then you may wonder where does this came from so let me show you the formula is given by length of short span minus width of supporting beam by 1000 plus effective depth by 1000 you can simply put the value in this formula and get and then get the desired value of 3.442 or 3.516 and you can take the value whichever is less so by putting this this formula for effective span we get we got 3.442 and for LX and 3.516 for LY which means uh, these two values are smaller than the value we obtained from our AutoCAD so 
whichever is less so we took this as our effective span lx is equal to 3.442 and ly 3.516 and then as we all know ly by lx should be always less than 2 for 2 way slabs so ly 3.516 divided by 3.442 is equals to 1.02 which is less than 2 so we can design our slab as 2 way slab so let us proceed towards our load calculation so dead load of the slab is uh, 0 0.125 times 25 as you know the specific weight of the concrete is 25 kilo newton per meter cube so dead load of the slab is 0 0.125 0 0.125 is 125 mm so in meter is 0 0.125 0 0.125 times 25 is equals to 3.13 kilo newton per meter square and finishing load on slab is let us take 1 kilo newton per meter square you can simply uh, go to the code and change this the yellow yellow dotted <coughs> as i have given here color yellow so you can change this yellow yellow value the value in the yellow zone so now dead load acting on the slab is total load dead load on the slab plus finishing load on the slab you can simply sum of these two and get 4.13 now live load on the slab to now factor the design load w is equals to then you can simply sum of these things and then you will get this 1.5 times dead load plus live load as you know the formula is factor design load is 1.5 times dead load per live load so 1.5 times the sum of this is 9.20 kN per meter square so support condition type of panel according to support condition as per my autocad drawing uh, my support condition is one long is discontinuous you can simply click here and then change it as per your need you can simply make it another so now in this case it's one long is discontinuous so for this support condition you need to go to for the support condition you need to see the page in IS456-2000 page 91 and for one long is discontinuous and our value of LY by LX is 1.02 so you can interpolate the value as I have given the formula of interpolation is Y minus Y1 is equals to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1 into X minus X1 so simply go to the page number as I have mentioned in this page 91 and then there are several values for one long is discontinuous and ly by lx 1.02 uh, you can interpolate the value for negative moment and positive moment and then you can simply get these values as i have also mentioned the interpolation formula you can simply do it from there now let us proceed towards the moment calculation uh, in the similar page uh, there is the formula for moment calculation which is given by mx is equals to ax times factor load w into lx square lx is effective span so mu for short span and for long span mu for at mid span and mu is given by the formula ax into w into lx square so you can simply calculate the value ax is we obtained from this 0.038 and W is factor load 9.20 and LX is our effective span of uh, 3.442 so by simple multiplication you will get the values in this column and MU divided by BD square for that uh, B and D uh, since we are designing for our effective length of 1 meter so B is 1 if you calculate in mm it becomes 1000 and d is effective depth as we have already calculated above effective depth to 106 mm so from here you can get this value mu divided by bd square now let us now go towards pt uh, because it is a bit uh, longer process and for ast required uh, you can simply go to the code is 456 which I have mentioned in page 96 of code 
there is a formula of uh, let me spell it for you uh, in the page 96 uh, nxg there is one formula mu equals to 0.87 times fy ast d bracket open 1 minus ast by fy upon bd into fck you can check in nxg page 96 and then there is formula for mu as we have already calculated mu which is this value so from here you can obtain the ast required 6992 80 and 105 its formula is in page 96 so you can simply go and check there and from calculating this uh, now reinforcement we have to provide we are providing of 8 mm diameter at 150 mm center to center mid span so for short span ast provided is 335 mm square and for long span it's also 335 mm square now i hope you are getting what i am saying if you have any confusion regarding to this then please comment below i will try to solve each of your problems now we need to check for deflection percentage of tension reinforcement is 0 0.27 uh, you may wonder where the value of 0 0.27 percentage came from so it is given by the formula percentage of tension reinforcement at mid span is 100 times AST provided divided by BD you can also get in the page number 38 for the deflection so our formula is given by 100 times a s t provided divided by b into d please remember the formula 100 times a s t provided by b into d and then we have all the value from the above so if we calculate this then the value obtained will be 0 0.27 or the value as per your calculation so fs is equals to 0 0.58 you can get this formula in page number 38 as i have mentioned here page number 38 and there is also a graph from which you can obtain the value for modification factor so by simply multiplication 0 0.58 times c of y AST required by AST provided as we have already calculated these things you will get 60 so I have also mentioned duty for figure 4 of IS456 modification factor is 1.5 and then L by D max is equal to 39 its modification factor 1.5 times modification you can obtain the value from graph so since our L by D provided is 32 is less than the maximum value 39 so hence it is okay in deflection now let us go for shear shear force is given by factored load W into effective span LX by 2 so the shear force B is given by is obtained as 15.83 as you can calculate it by using formula W into LX by 2 therefore shear stress is given by tau b is equals to b times bd b is shear force and bd so shear force b is 15.83 and b for per meter length we, we take b as 1000 mm and d is 106 mm as we can see here 106 mm effective depth so you can simply obtain the formula for shear stress is 0 0.130 by the calculation now pt is equals to 0 0.27 percentage you can calculate this p2 value for for shear by formula 100 times ast provided by bd please remember the value 100 times ast provided by bd here we have ast provided 335 100 into 335 by b 1000 into d 106 
if you calculate that then you will obtain pt is equals to 0 0.27 so design shear strength of concrete tau c is equals to 0 0.36 we can obtain this value by referring to table 19 is 4 5 6 since our tc is greater than tv tau b 0 0.36 is greater than 0 0.130 hence our design is also safe in shear so if you calculate these things in excel and then put it in the detailed report of ETABS and then submit it to the municipality then it will be okay we can simply do these things as I have mentioned uh, if I will also make video regarding to the staircase and uh, footing which, uh, which are also necessary to compile with the ETAB report so please like share and subscribe and then support this video as much as you can and share this video as much as you can uh, if you if you will love this video like my previous ETAPS video then I will definitely provide you the excel sheet which will make you easier for the calculation if you will get this excel sheet then by simply changing the portion in the yellow portion then you can simply calculate and then support so please share this video as much as possible and then I will provide you the excel sheet anyway guys thanks for watching please subscribe